Hey folks, Tyler Patner here, and today we're gonna run you through some air gun maintenance specifically for your PCP rifles. Now, this is gonna vary gun to gun, but uh, what I'm talking about is going to be transferable to a lot of different PCP air guns. Uh, just some things you can look out for and some things that you should have in your toolkit that you're gonna need if you wanna do maintenance on your PCPs. So I have a Fine Work Bow 800 here, a beautiful 10 meter rifle out of Germany, uh, and probably a uh, way more expensive version of anything you guys may have at home but the things I'm going to show you here still apply to any of your PCP guns so number one thing to look out for is breech seals now on the fine work bow here that is actually housed inside of the shuttle here so uh, very easy to get to I can take a q-tip take my silicone grease and just hit that with a little bit of grease or silicone oil if you prefer something uh, that's not gonna stick around quite as long. Just depends on what your preferences are. But on a lot of PCP guns, those breech seals are gonna be on the bolt probe itself or maybe even inside of the barrel. So the same things apply. Uh, just so you know, it is a very uh, high use area. There's a lot of air passing through there and oftentimes uh, in the case of many other guns, you do have pellets running across these seals as you're loading them. So it is a great practice to get into lubricating that every so often. Every couple hundred shots is a good practice. Uh, and of course, if you do ever need to replace that seal, having a dental pick on hand to go ahead, get in there and grab that seal out and then to also push your new seal in is gonna come in handy. So get yourself a dental pick too. Now, the second thing you're gonna wanna look out for, now this gun has a removable air cylinder. Not a lot of guns have this. Most of your 10 meter competition guns do. Um, but for the guns that don't, this is going to represent a little bit of a deeper dive into most of your PCPs. Now, anything with a removable bottle or removable cylinder, you're gonna have easier access to. But for those of you that have tube guns or fixed bottle guns, this is gonna require you to degas the gun completely. And this is a little bit more in depth here, but basically what we're doing is getting our way into the regulator housing uh, and this is the inlet for the regulator right here so in this case since it is in there a ways what we would go ahead and do is take a uh, some silicone oil with a little bit of a, a dropper here and go ahead reach back in there and lubricate that seal it's super easy to do and again that dental pick if you do need to replace it uh, because on a lot of guns this is a high wear piece now on guns with fixed cylinders this is not something you're gonna have to do very often uh, we're talking like three to five year maintenance. So not something that's going to affect you all that often. And if you're uncomfortable doing it, we at Pyramid Air offer these services. There are a lot of air gun smiths around the country that you can send your gun to, uh, folks that will work on your gun for a fee as well. Um, but make sure you're contacting your factory uh, repair or warranty centers first. Uh, see what their availability is, cost, all of those things, because warranties, obviously, with most seals, are not going to last forever, usually a year, maybe two, depending on the manufacturer. Um, but keeping them lubricated, maybe replacing the seals every so often, is a great habit to get into to just extend the longevity and the life of your gun. Working on your PCPs can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Hopefully today's video gave you a good idea of what you're gonna get into uh, when you get your PCP and you wanna do some basic maintenance on it. And if you do wanna dive in more in depth, you know, do more work on your guns, you can certainly check out our website. We've got a ton of blog articles talking about maintaining and repairing PCPs. You can also find a ton of stuff out there on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching and hopefully you found today's video useful. Let us know down in the comments if you did or if there's anything we missed and we'll see you next time.